magnetic ratios of 30 and 60 we will find here so for this uh, in the in the textbook only given figure 8.15 here 8.15 is given here so please uh, check one this one this one in your textbook here given a equilateral triangles means all sides are all sides equal all sides are equal now here a b and b c and a c r are given here so from this equilateral triangle all angles are equal angle a is equal to angle b is equal to angle c is equal to how much 60 degrees will come here because this is a equilateral triangle equilateral triangle so in this we draw so if i take equilateral triangle this like this if we, we draw one uh, a to d a perpendicular so it will divide this triangle into two right angle triangles two right angle triangles okay so therefore so i will erase this one and after we'll go further so okay so here uh, this equilateral triangle form it to different uh, uh, right angle triangle first one is uh, triangle triangle a b d one here this is a b d a right angle triangle here another another right angle triangle he is a c d also so this is a c d another triangle is also form here now from this here c here b is there na? so b and d is equal to and d and c so these sides are equal here because it uh, this perpendicular dividing the bc into the same equal parts so equal parts it we are dividing ad is dividing this bc bd and dc in the equal parts so I, we, we have to take like this so here uh, a value is 30 degrees is already given here so this form a right angle triangle this is form a right angle triangle so from this uh, we can do here uh, so angles are like we'll take in a b a d angle is equal to 30 degrees so between where is the value is there now so a value that is only 30 degrees so angle again uh, a b d is equal to how much b angle is how much here 60 degrees here 60 degrees here so what we have to find the values of sine values of 30 and values of 60 we have to find which one trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios of 30 and 60 we have to find here now suppose suppose we take we take one side is equal to that is a b is equal to 2a so all sides are equal no so in the right angle in the equilateral triangle so it will become 2a 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 of three sides will come here so from this b c is equal to how much 2a no so but b d is equal to how much b d is equal to 1 by 2 into b c b c is what here b c is this total value here means 2a you now so it will become bc means 1 by 2 into 2a is equal to 1 2 2 will get cancelled a will come here means bd is equal to a and B, dc is equal to a value here so here what we have got here 2a and a we got here but a d we don't know so using the from pythagoras theorem from pythagoras theorem so triangle what is the triangle i'm taking means here b uh, i will tell you so here a b d triangle i'm taking here so from this i'm using pythagoras theorem so it will become a b square is equal to a b square is equal to so this a d square a d square plus this is b d square b d square so a b is equal to how much here value 2 a no? so 2 a whole square will come here is equal to a d square means how much we do we have to find that only and plus b d square is equal to a square will come here so this 2 a whole square is equal to 4 a square will come minus and this a i will bring to the left side of the equation a square will come here and a d square so if we subtract this one so 3 a square will come here a d is equal to a d square is equal to a d is equal to under root of 3 a square will there na? so square root will get cancelled uh, the root will come to the 3 so a root 3 will come here answer a root 3 of this ad perpendicular na? so that is ad we got three sides of the right angle triangle 
so one is a second one is 2a and third one is a root 3 so here i am writing ab is equal to 2a and bd is equal to a and ad is equal to what we have got a root 3 we got here now what we have to find sine trigonometric ratios of 30 and 16 huh? so first i find i will find here sine 30 values sine cos tan cos 30 okay tan 30 okay cosecant 30 secant 30 and cot 30 so these values i will find here first so sin 30 is equal to what from this right angle triangle so a b d so here opposite to 30 30 means a a opposite sign opposite by hypotenuse no so from this opposite is a divided by hypotenuse is equal to 2a so a a will get cancelled why what will one uh, so here what will remain 1 by 2 means sin 30 value is what 1 by 2 like that cos 30 is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse no so what is adjacent here adjacent to the angle a a root 3 a root 3 divided by uh, hypotenuse hypotenuse is equal to 2a so a a will get cancelled here root 3 by 2 will remain here and tan 30 will take here tan 30 is equal to so tan 30 is equal to what opposite by adjacent no adjacent is equal to what is the opposite to the 30 this 30 opposite to 30 a divided by adjacent is equal to what a root 3 a root 3 is equal to a, a will get cancelled 1 by root 3 will remain so means tan 30 is equal to how much 1 by root 3 so here cosecant 30 so cosecant 30 is a reverse of sin no so 1 by sin 30 so it will become 2 and secant 30 is also what cos uh, cos reverse of cos 30 means 2 by root 3 and cot 30 is equal to 1 uh, here uh, 1 by root 3 you know? so it will reverse root 3 so these are the values of sin cos tan cosecant secant and cot now moving to the like next what is what we have to find here already 45 completed and 30 completed and 60 completed now we have to find 0 and 90 degrees values now 0 60 values we didn't find now so we will find here 60 values also so here triangle what we have got like equilateral triangle is there now so that is here we'll take for sin 60 and cos 60 and tan 60 now cosecant 60 secant 60 these values we are going to find now cot 60 